In this video, we will cover how to get started with Azure OpenAI. So we are going to cover how to deploy a specific OpenAI models on Azure. And then we will cover how to integrate our code with Azure OpenAI. First thing what we have to do is come to this Azure portal and then we have to search for Azure AI. You can see Azure AI services. We can also search for Azure OpenAI and you can see we are going to get Azure OpenAI over here. We can just click on this and here you can see it's going to come under Azure AI services only. So under Azure AI services, we are going to have all these services. One of the services is Azure OpenAI. We can either search for Azure AI services and then navigate to Azure OpenAI under Azure AI services or we can directly search for Azure OpenAI. So once we come to this one, we have to create an instance of Azure OpenAI. So what we have to do is just click on this create Azure OpenAI and then it's going to give us options over here. We have to select a resource group and then reason. My subscription is in East US. So I'm just going to select East US over here and then actually we have to give some name to this particular instance. So what we are going to call it Azure OpenAI demo, then the pricing tier. You can see we don't have much option over here. We have to go with the standard one and we can also just click on the the pricing details so that we can get to know how the pricing is going to span out. You can select your reason over here and the currency and then there are specific models and what would be the cost. If you are using for GPT 4.0 then the cost are going to be like this and for some specific model the cost is going to be laid out like this. Now we have to go back to our instance creation then we can just click on next. Here in this case you can specify how you want to access your Azure AI services. So it's going to be all networks including the internet can access this. So this is okay for the demo purpose but in production scenarios you have to provide a specific security accesses so you can either go with the private endpoint or you can just specify specific networks from which the access is going to be allowed. As of now I'm just going to go ahead with the default option and I'm just going to click on next next and then I'm just going to click on create and now you can see the deployment is in progress we have to wait for a few minutes for this deployment to be completed first now you can see the deployment is completed I can just click on go to resource and my resource has been created I can just click on key and endpoint and it's going to give us a key and what particular endpoint we have to use this information is crucial because using this only we are going to access our Azure AI services we can go back to our home stream now and and here you can see the model deployment. I need to just click on this model deployment because now we have the instance created for OpenAI, but we haven't specified like which particular model we are going to use. And to manage that, there is a specific a tab over here model deployment. But to access the model deployment, it cannot be done over here. It's going to be happen at Azure OpenAI Studio. So we have to go to Azure OpenAI Studio. I'm just going to click on manage deployment and then it's going to route me to Azure AI Studio. That's the new look of Azure OpenAI Studio if you want to go to old look then you can just click on this and then you are going to get options like this this is how the azure opinion studio used to look like now they are recommending to go for a new look either you can use this older version look or you can go for the new version look but the process are going to be same so what we have to do first you can see the under management we have deployment we have to create a new deployment i am just going to click on create deployment i can provide the deployment name my plan is to deploy gpt4 o mini model so i am just going to select the deployment name like this you can just mention anything else over here if you want to go for some other name and then we have to select a model so i do have this gpt4 o mini under my subscription in the east west region so i'm just going to select this and the model version is going to be this it's a default one and then the deployment type is going to be standard and then the token per minute how much you want you can see the 30k tokens per minute quota is available for my deployment i'm just going to go ahead with the default one because we are not going to use a lot of tokens so i'm just going to go ahead with the default one and then just click on create now you can see under deployment earlier i was not getting anything and now i can see this particular model has been deployed with the version which we have selected the capacity and everything and this is going to be the deployment so this is how actually we have to access our model because we have deployed our model so it's coming under this deployment and you can see like we have deployed one model so it's reflecting over here and we can directly chat with this particular model we can play around with this particular model before trying to use it in the code and if you want to see some boilerplate code then we can just click on this view code and here you can see the endpoint what they are using the api version the endpoint what we have seen on azure AI services 
So we are going to have endpoint over here and then we are going to have our API key. We can extract information either from here or we can extract information from Azure AI services. So the recommendation is we do not have to use this API key directly into the code. We have to either store it into the Azure key vault and then access it from there or we can just generate a token directly rather than using a key. I will cover all those things like how to access it using Azure key vault or how to access models via token instead of using a key in our next set of videos. In this video, we are directly going to take this key and configure everything so that we can quickly get our code up and running. So now because everything has been deployed, I will quickly go to my Visual Studio code and we will write some code so that like we can integrate with this particular model and we can ask some questions. I will go to my Visual Studio code and here you can see first thing what I have created is .env file. We have to pass some specific things to access this Azure OpenAI model. First thing is going to be Azure OpenAI API key. So as I said, I can also directly take it from chat section or I can just take it from the Azure AI services. So here also you will get a key and the endpoint you can either take it from here or you can just take it from here it's going to be same at both places so I'm just going to take it as your endpoint and I'm just going to paste it over here this is going to be my Azure endpoint then I have to pass OpenAI API key so that I will just take it from here and paste it over here then we have to pass Azure API version now this particular version I can just directly take it from here you can see the API version what it's using in the sample code and I can can just paste it over here. One thing what we have to notice is this particular API version is different from the model version. When it's a API version, it's not talking about the model version. It's a API version that we can take it from the sample code. And then last thing is Azure deployment name. Now under deployment name, we don't have to pass a model name. We have to pass a deployment name over here, like what is going to be reflected in this section. In this case, the model name and deployment name is same. I can just go ahead and just write GPT. 4 o mini and that's it after that we have to go to our code and here what i am doing loading all the environment variable because i have just declared everything i'm using this load.env method for that and after that like i'm just retrieving the api key what we have defined in the environment one then the api version the azure endpoint and the deployment the first thing what we have to do is create our client instance so that is going to be azure open ei this azure open ei we are importing it from open ei and then under azure open ei you can see there are several options so we do have api key api version deployment azure endpoint just to get started as of now we just have to pass three things first thing is going to be api key api version and then azure endpoint so this we are already retrieving it from our environment variable so we can pass it directly over here and then the rest of the things are going to be same what we have been using with openai so we have to call this create chat dot completion dot create and now under this we have to pass a model but one thing what we have to notice is like under this model we don't have to pass our model name we have to pass the deployment name under this we are going to pass this particular deployment name and this particular deployment name we are already retrieving it from our environment variable and then we can pass it directly over here now we have to test it out whether this is working or not so we are writing a very simple application where we are passing a messages as a user and i'm just asking okay tell me story in 20 words so everything is goes well then we are going to get the response from this model so let me just go ahead and try to run this code now and you can see like we were able to successfully get a response so it means our order deployment our configuration everything is working fine in our next series of video we will see like how we can you know secure this api key or how to access it via token instead of passing the api key directly into the code that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching